Good morning, welcome to the update for the bunker on Tuesday the 5th of May from the Moselle Valley here in France. Beautiful day, beautiful orange sunrise this morning, life is good and uh, we've been notified now that the restrictions in France are going to be gently uh, lifted or gradually lifted from the 11th of May, so it's next week and uh, that's encouraging so travel restrictions and business restrictions are being gently relaxed. We'll still have um, a need for face masks and social distancing but we can start to get back to some sort of new normal. Same in Luxembourg and Germany and I think the UK maybe a couple of weeks behind us but I think that's probably going to happen as well. So that's positive news. So we want to get back into the game a little bit now. Certainly if you're in business you want to get your business back on track, get visible and make sure everybody knows that you're around. Now, one of the things that maybe happened during this time is that people's levels of you know, positivity have dropped a little bit. It's tough being on lockdown. It just is. Now, if you're locked down, as I am, uh, I'll be careful what I say, with, with positive people who are you know, upbeat and positive and want to make things happen, then that's good. We, do, we, we bounce off each other. So Lynn and I are very positive away we go. And also I hang out with my clients as well on the screen every day all over the world. And they're you know, having a tough time, but positive and upbeat. So I'm hanging out with the right gang, which is good. Now, if you're not, you need to find people who are because there's a, there's a, a condition, if you like, or uh, called con um, emotional contagion, where if you're hanging around with sad, depressed or depressing people who have low self-esteem, low beliefs and negativity and blame mentality, that will tend, even if you don't want it to, will tend to rub off on you. It's how uh, trends start, This the ideas spread, you don't even know why. This time last year we had the fidget spinners, if you remember. Why? They all pop. Nobody's got them now, of course they've all disappeared. But this is how fads and, and these things start off. It's contagion of ideas, but also of emotions as well. Same thing with, uh, with Pokemon. And uh, anyway, not knocking Pokemon, but this is what happens. They go into fads up and down. It's a contagion of emotions and a contagion of ideas. And my mom, I speak to my mom regular over in the UK. She's uh, nearly 90 now. And she's on lockdown like everybody else is. And she's fine. She's doing okay. She's a, a, a tough old bird, as we call her. She's doing good. And she's generally very bright and enthusiastic. You know, life is good and she's okay and things are happening. However, I can tell if one of her friends has, has phoned her, has been in touch, because her mood is different. And she starts talking about how bad things could be and even a couple of conspiracy theories jump in and it's oh my goodness and I know immediately and uh, name change to protect the innocent that Sharon has phoned and if I say to her has Sharon been in touch well yeah she did phone this morning for two and a half hours it's like I know I know where this comes from uh, now Sharon bless her is uh, a very negative person uh, and uh, it doesn't matter why and all that sort of thing but uh, there's, a, there's a way that these emotions spread, but other people bring you down. They need to find people who are going to bring you up. So start to hang out with other more positive, like-minded, upbeat sort of people. Now, where can you find them? They're on webinars. They're on the end of a phone. They're on the end of a Zoom call. They're on a wine tasting webinar on Friday night with us. Whatever You can find people, message them. If you want a bit of an uplift, if you're only stuck or struggling out there in business, you want to have a, a conversation, drop me a note, I'll jump on a call with you. We've got a bit of time in the diary. I'll happily have a conversation and not say you anything, but if it's just a case of having a chat and share some ideas and give a little bit of injection of uh, positivity, then you know, drop me a message. There is a saying, or there's a phrase, actually uh, some words in a Blink-182 song, for those who know it, that um, uh, misery loves company and misery loves, loves sympathy as well. So it does. So watch out for that. Be careful who you hang out with. Now, there's a, there's a further level of this where you go down the, sort of the, the range, if you like, of transfer of ideas, and it's called folie de. Well, my, my best friend, she folie folie de. And what it means is the transmission of delusional beliefs. Now, you can see this. You don't ever even heard of David Icke, for example. Now, I, I, I watch David Icke. I've got some of his books. I think he's entertaining. I don't think he's, he's totally right. I hope he's not right anyway. But you can see how people follow these delusional beliefs and this is how cults start or gangs or bizarre you know bizarre belief based um, movements and they're based on delusional beliefs and what happens is somebody has a delusional belief about something and other people start to go oh, yeah that makes sense we don't understand why from the outside looking in it looks ridiculous but when we're under these extreme circumstances of maybe lockdown be aware that strange bizarre ideas may sound more attractive on lockdown because you have nothing to compare them with. So if you're feeling a bit strange and a bit odd, 
uh, then be careful. But look out, reach out for other people who are brighter, positive, enthusiastic to give you that, you know, to reset you back to where you want to be. And at the very extreme version, of course, there's um, the Stockholm Syndrome, which is derived from a, a hostage situation in Stockholm, surprisingly enough, in 1973, when the hostage, hostages began to get some sympathy for the captors. So Stockholm Syndrome is where hostages have sympathy for their captors and start believing the cause they stand for or whatever it is, they get sympathy for them. And that's because of the bizarre situation they're in. And we're in a somewhat bizarre situation. And if you find that your positivity has reduced or you're not feeling quite as bright, I think you're bound not to be to a degree. It's not true, it doesn't have to be true. The way through it, however, is find some other people who are out there who can build you up, join the right group, the right gang, and associate with them, reach out, have a phone call, have a conversation and get that energy back into your uh, business and into your life again. And again, if you want to have a chat with me, then just drop me a message. We'll jump on a call, on a Zoom call, share a coffee, have a cuppa and uh, have a chat about things and see what we go, what we, we, do, can, uh, we can do. So, stuttering at the end there. But anyway, um, all good here. Looking forward to the uh, uplift. We'll be, hopefully next week, go and see the house that we signed for over the weekend <laughs> and go and see it now. And it needs a lot of work doing to it, so you'll see some pictures coming up. I'll do a video, uh, not from the bunker, but from the, the shed, I think, as we call it. It needs a lot of work, so a bit of fun. But uh, that's moving ahead. We believe all, all is good. So have a great day. Uh, stay upbeat. Stay positive. Give me a shout if you want to have a chat with me. But find somebody that is upbeat, upbeat and positive. Don't be a Sharon. Don't bring down people. If they are... Even if you lock down with them, find somebody else to talk to as well. So I'll see you, speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day and get that business visible again. Start getting that visibility up. And uh, when the uplift comes, you're going to be fine. So have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow and bye for now.